you see machines two single phase induction motors so objectives are capacitor start motor main motor main components of the motor working principle applications torque speed characteristics so here this figure shows the capacitor start motor this is the capacitor start motor here one capacitor is connected here one capacitor is connected in this is the terminal box and here on one side the capacitor is connected that is the starting purpose that is called capacitor start motor see here this is the terminal box in that we capacitor is connected and this is the shaft and here this is a so cover the yoke see here in figure split phase motor in split phase motor here this is a centrifugal switch this winding this thick winding line this thick line winding this is called a starting winding so this starting winding is here this connected in this way and here this is the main winding this is the main winding this is the here from this to this here the here this is connected with main winding the main winding here from this to here see this is the main winding winding connection up to this one so here centrifugal switch is work when the rotor is attain the 70% of its rated speed so this is a centrifugal switch this is a rotor for rotor this winding is surrounded this is the stator winding this is this is starting stator rotor winding and this is the running winding this split phase motor has two separate windings in the stators so now here the capacitor starts single phase induction motor it is also known as capacitor start induction run motor induction run motor now it is an improved from a resistance split phase motor it is an improved form of resistance split phase motor so fundamentally it is very similar to resistance start slip split phase motor fundamentally it is very similar to resistance start split phase motor but starting winding of a capacitor start motor has a few number of turns of thick wire starting winding of a capacitor start motor has a few number of turns of thick wire so electrolytic capacitor 
electrolytic capacitor is used in place of resistance electrolytic capacitor is used in place of resistance here the capacitor start induction motor this is the rotor and here the stator two windings one is the main winding another one is the starting winding here the capacitor and this is centrifugal switch this is a squirrel cage rotor here this is the supply terminals this is the supply voltage and current i the starting current is i and running current or main current is i i m r i r this is schematic representation so of squirrel cage single phase induction motor single phase induction motor this is split phase capacitor starting capacitor type induction motor the construction of capacitor start induction motor is the capacitor is connected in series with the starting winding the capacitor is connected in series with the starting winding by choosing proper capacitor value starting winding current that means starting current ist is its standard standard still can be made to lead main winding current im by 90 degrees here the main current and starting currents so these phase difference is 90 degrees approximately 90 degrees it so here made to lead main winding current by 90 degrees by using series capacitor that is a capacitor start now here capacitor usually mounted in a material casing on the top of the motor capacitor is usually mounted in a metal casing on the top of the motor in some cases capacitor is mounted inside the motor housing in some cases capacitor is mounted inside the motor housing the capacitor used is of electrolytic type the capacitor used used is of electrolytic capacitor so this this is designed for short duty service the electrolytic capacitor is used designed for short duty service so now the size of the capacitor depends upon the rating of the machine the size of the capacitor depends upon the rating of the machine it is a around it is around 50 microfarads to few hundred microfarads it is around 50 microfarads to few hundred microfarads it finds applications where high starting torque is essentially it finds applications where high starting torque is essentially centrifugal switch is disconnected centrifugal switch is disconnected when the motor peaks of speed centrifugal switch is disconnected when the motor is peaks of speed of the 70% of the its motor speed because of because of the short duty service of the electrolytic capacitor proper operation of centrifugal switch is important because of the short duty service of the electrolytic capacitor proper operation of centrifugal switch is important so the main and starting windings the main and starting winds are spaced displaced by 90 degrees so the, the time displacement is achieved by the time displacement is achieved by a capacitor 
in series with the starting winding once again the time displacement is achieved by a capacitor in series with the starting winding so here i m is the main current main winding current lags v by pi m so main current i m lags v by pi m so the starting current leads v by pi s t the starting current leads v by pi s t starting flux so the angle between i m and i s t being a that is alpha which is nearly 90 degrees so the angle between i m and i s t being a, which is nearly 90 degrees a phase displacement is achieved the motor develops high starting torque the phase displacement is achieved the motor develops high starting torque when the single phase supply given to the motor here the working principle of capacitor start motor the working principle of capacitor start motor when the single phase supply is given to the motor the motor picks up speed up to 80 percent rated speed the capacitor is the is in the circuit only during starting period when the motor picks up speed the capacitor and starting winding are automatically disconnected once again when the single phase supply given to the motor the motor picks up speed up to 80 percent retard speed the capacitor is in the circuit only during the starting period when the motor picks up speed the capacitor and starting winding are automatically disconnected the capacitor can be selected as per the requirements of starting torque the capacitor can be selected as per the requirement of starting torque it can as high as 350 to 400 percentage of full load torque it can as high 350 to 400 percentage of full load torque so the torque versus speed characteristics is shown figure so I see here this is the torque versus speed characteristics here starting here see here the main and auxiliary windings here the starting is the starting torque is that means percentage of starting torque is more than that of full load torque here this is the so here 3 to 300 to 400 percent nearly starting torque is 300 to 4 percent this is due to the this is due to the main and auxiliary windings here so this is auxiliary winding torque and this is the main winding torque here the speed is 0 to ns when when the 0 to ns the speed is while it reached 80 percent of the speed of the ns Well, reached it is 80 percent of the speed here the switching speed here centrifugal switch will be automatically centrifugal switch will be automatically opened then only the main winding will be working from this this speed here it is the combination of main and auxiliary winding so starting torque is high so it is 350 to 400 percent up to so switching speed up to switching speed it is the torque it is the combination of main and auxiliary windings after switching speed only the main winding is working so main winding only gives the torque so from that only this is from the this torque is from the main winding here torque is taken as in y along the y axis and x is so x axis along the x axis speed is taken so it is the torque versus speed curves this is here the phasor diagram of a capacitor stored induction motor 
द कैपासिटर सर्क्यूट ड्रॉस लीडिंग करंट हेयर सी हेयर दिस इज द वोल्टेज एज टेकन एज रेफरेंस अलॉन्ग विद एक्स एक्सिस एंड दिस इज द स्टार्टिंग करंट दैट मीन्स इट इज कनेक्ट द स्टार्टिंग वाइंडिंग इज कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज इज द कैपासिटर सो दिस इज लीडिंग करंट आई एस टी इज लीडिंग वाई इट इज लीडिंग द कैपासिटर इज कनेक्टेड इन द स्टार्टिंग वाइंडिंग सो हियर दिस इज द एंगल इज पाई एस टी इन द स्टार्टिंग एंड द स्टार्टिंग स्टार्टिंग करंट एंड द मेन करंट विच कॉम्बिनेशन विच रिजल्ट इन गिव दी सो दट इज आई रिजल्ट करंट आई सो हियर स्टार्टिंग करंट एंड द मेन करंट दट इज डिनोटेड बाय द अल्फा दट इज डिनोटेड बाय द अल्फा नाउ सो वी एंड आई एम दट इज डिनोटेड बाय द पाई एम एंड वी एंड आई दिस वी द वोल्टेज बिटवीन द क्वेश्चन एंगल बिटवीन द वोल्टेज एंड करंट इट इज डिनोटेड बाय द पाई हियर द वी एंड आई आई इज गिव द पाई or otherwise in other ways we can write this is the phasor diagram of capacitor start induction motor speed so here how the speed can be reversed in the capacitor start motor it can be done by reversing so the main winding terminals or the starting wind terminals should be so reverse so here it can be um, done by reversing the main winding terminals or starting winding terminals should be the in reverse direction capacitor start motor applications here what are the applications capacitor start motor so it is used where high starting torque is needed high starting torque is needed so compressors and pumps and air conditioners and conveyors etc applications of capacitor start motor it is used where high starting torque is needed so compressors pumps air conditioners conveyors etc so this is the capacitor start motor see here this figure this is the capacitor start motor summary so we discussed the capacitor start motor is one of the split phase motors the phase split is obtained by a capacitor in series with starting winding so the capacitor and starting winding are cut out of the circuit and the motor picks up speed 80% of the ns and second the capacitor start motor is one of the split phase motor this phase split is obtained by a capacitor in series with starting winding the capacitor and starting winding are cut out of the circuit when the motor picks picks up speed of ns 80% of ns suitable for high torque applications this is suitable for high torque applications thank you